everybody welcome back to the channel um this is a blast for the past for me we're gonna have a look at virtual sailor ng i think is new generation uh this is something i've played since the very beginning it's about 20 years ago i think yanni papani i think it is it's created it in greece um i remember having this running and i bought a perpetual license for it so i'm wondering if that's valid for this anyway um here i am in the steam version now virtual sailor as you can tell 20 years goes back really forever and it was um, something that Yanni generated or created with a kind of uh, realistic hydrodynamics at the time or you know very good considering it was a game that he made by himself so it had um, configurable ships it has a library of add-ons uh, which you can still access I think so I'm looking in here on the quality simulations uh, add-ons and there's loads of ships um, I'll tell you in a second whether they work for um, this new generation. I've just copied them into the, the file folders like I used to do. Um, I think the website here is still hang seven. No, sorry, it's not. It's um, probably Virtual Sailor. Um, and he's basically updated his engine to work with some more modern graphics. But there's uh, about a bunch of scenery and vehicles and how to create them in this library and that's one of the unique things let's see if they work so i'm just going to jump in i had a very quick look at this um just to figure out how that works um so let's just try and see what we can get to work so i've had a quick look because the user interface is a little bit of a um requires a bit of getting used to so it's basically keys for the controls so this is what tell me the positions of my throttles and it's left and right cursor keys. So they give it a bit more power. Um, yeah, the thing that Yanni had really kind of sussed out at the time was um, the kind of realistic control. So for some reason, my rudder's not, it's not biting. Um, and I'll say that that kind of level of hydrodynamics, you know, still works today very nicely. And it stands up against, you know, some of these other ones. I think these days, you know, Notice Home, they work with Algorex. They've got this really fancy physics engine. So that still works, um, you know, probably better. But if you think about the money and resources they put into it compared to Yanni here. Uh, Yanis, sorry, or Yanni, I can't remember. Um, you'll see, of course, you know, that some of the boats are very old school like this. is low polygon, non-textured non or very few textures just on the instruments there. Um, but you'll see that it was always the C model that um, Yanni had really worked on a lot and it worked really well. So you can see here I've got a displacement mode on, uh, which is actually showing the displacement waves here around the hull. And as I just point her out to see here and give her full throttles, you'll see that that um, works pretty nice. So here we go, full throttle. There's fairly good engine noises. You probably hear that in the background. Um, there's kind of seagulls and sounds. But yeah, generally his engine, I think it's his own engine, is, is a little bit more old school. It's not using Unity or Unreal as far as I know. It's really an engine built around this water model that he's made. But he has got some particle filters. He's got a little bit better rendering of the water. Um, you can see there you've got sort of underwater effects as well. And I think there's not many that are doing this kind of displacement wave kind of thing like that, which is pretty, um, impressive if you ask me um, there's a so much to this app I went in and you know start pressing all the keys here I press you know Q to try and go forwards um, but actually this brings up this menu of, of your ships um, I'm happy to say that the Waverly is working use my F keys and we can go here externally ah funny the lifeboats have fallen in so a little issue there that's reverse could be that some of these don't work in a new version. Uh, yeah, so I think that's a little bit not working. The Waverly is a ship from where I come from in the Firth of Clyde. Uh, so it's nice to see that. Let's try Disney Wonder. Again, I'm just going to go outside. This is a more simple model. Uh, so a couple of different views from outside. It's not quite working there. Engine on. Or this doesn't seem to let's just see if we can get it to go there we go so that's a very simple model and this I'm assuming will just take a while to get going uh, maybe it just won't go at all let's try and change the ship 
Uh, Smith Rotterdam, one of my favorites. So again, E for engine on. We're not run aground or anything. Yeah, the other ones it could have been just that they're so heavy that it takes them a while to get going. So you can see there, you know, realistic momentum. Probably wouldn't go full throttle in this kind of ship. Um, and let's have a look at the steering. Yeah, nice slow steering. So this was one of my favourite ships in the original game. And I think this mod is still, you know, from that original game. Is Yanis has modified his engine so that um, it's got better graphics and stuff, but the core behind it, the folders that you need, uh, is still the same. Um, one of the things I love about this is if I hit W, and I can just go in here and create Meltemi. The wind and the waves adjust, and you can see here just how good his hydrodynamics are. So that is, for me, you know, state of the art, at least in the gaming world. Um, that's pretty much as good as you're going to get. So let's just bring our thr throttle up. Um, you do get some particle effects like this around the front. Uh, you do get the slamming, but it's you know not like Stormworks where the ships are jumping out of the water. It's really got a hydrodynamic calculation, a simplified one as far as I remember, uh, going across this particular hull form. Um, I remember that you can go in and change certain things in the configuration, like um, uh, I don't know, it's block coefficient or some of the coefficients, drag coefficients. I think you could change some of them. Um, but as you can see here, this is looking really good the way she's behaving. I've, nothing else really works like that. Perhaps not as home eventually, but that's got a huge team behind it. It's got a, a team just doing, you know, physics and in, in, in that they're working with algor algorithms. Um, so let's just take her into the wind here. For me, this is like best in class, at least commercially available water hydro hydrodynamics or water physics, if you like. And that, you know, adds a lot to gameplay. The other thing I notice is you've got like docking points. So you can see here, we've just put down like a buoy. You've got uh, physics on lines and stuff. So let's just take that off. And you can see how the physics there to get going is pretty good. This is a very powerful ship, remember. This is a salvage tug. Um, sounds could be better than this, to be honest. Um, I can't remember if you could walk around inside. Don't think so. Uh, I certainly don't remember the keys. Um, there was something on the numpad there, but it's not really... Oh, it's something like walk around. Uh, don't think I understand that. Um, but look at that. So very nice physics. They're going into the waves smashing against these waves and they're actually breaking over the top and that's pretty good even though you know the graphics are not great in all areas people who play boat simulators want this kind of realism of the physics or at least i do um one thing i was going to do is just go and increase that wave height there why not 25 foot waves 30 knot wind um and i think there is a way to access a detailed menu about waves where you can go in and change the wave period um, and all sorts of things. But look at that, isn't that fantastic? That is some good simulation going on there. Fighting out the harbor. Um, I'm just gonna click through some keys, GPS map, weapons, HUD, that's a zoom. Uh, there we go. So reflection and reflection. Okay, so that's just the different uh, refraction only. So these are the different rendering modes of the waves. These have been in in the last version I tried at least. Um, displacement, that's what I wanted. They're wind-driven waves. Um, and some color of the water, tide amplitude, underwater visibility. So loads of nice options for your waves there. It's basically a wave engine with boats in it. Uh, we've got this displacement mode on, so we're not really seeing that here, but it is pushing this water out of the way as far as I remember now, or there's something going on in the simulation. Just go back to weather, put it back to something more reasonable. 
So yeah, we can see, that as this picks up speed here, we'll see that it starts to create a displacement wave down under the waterline like that and up the back. Just let her pick up speed. Full throttle. What can we do? Freeze motion, docking panel. Let's just go through some other keys. That was always water settings. Ah, that's nice. We've got a little, a little bit more modern interface. Let's keep that in the center. Nine knots should pick up a bit more than that. Fuel, full speed ahead, full speed ahead. Navigation lights on. Good dank anchor. GPS, that's uh, old school. Ah, map, there we go. So this is, uh, oh yeah, Cabo Verde, it's the three Cape, Cape Verde Islands. This is uh, Sal, uh, no, can't remember. That's Sal over there, I think. Can't remember. Um, that's quite nice. We've got a little moving map. Um, it's not really going more than nine knots. I'm not too sure, maybe something here with the power coefficient's not quite right with this vessel. Let's swap her out to something else. So I've got the Waverly. I've got the Waverly again. Maybe this is a better model. Nope. Nope. So I seem to have some of the models twice. It's probably to do with the way that I've copied these in here. Uh, that's why I want a tugboat. Ooh, what's this? Drag mouse to pan, pan. Get a little preview of the tugboat here. Internal. Uh, I'm not too sure what I've done there. Seem to have cameras here. Okay. Right, so we're in this tugboat. Start the engine. And uh, let's take her away from here. This is perhaps a model which has been done with the newer engine because I see we've got our avatar in here basically. The sounds are a bit beefier than for that um, Smith Rotterdam. Yeah, look at that. So we've got displacement waves going on here. Tugboat, yeah, always creating a pretty big displacement wave. Central controls. Um, can't remember what these are. Ah, yeah, so you've got that free camera where you will see the boat and we can drive it like remote controlled. Oh, no, we can't because we don't have control of it. Just get back to this. There's a few camera modes here, as you can see. Inside. Okay, so this is a chase one. Do I still have control? Yeah. So, a bunch of camera modes take a little bit. Ah, all I was doing was change the FOV. They're all in the F keys. So I should be able to bring this up right up to the camera and have it stop. Let's do full reverse. Powerful bolt. Yeah, it should stop on a dime. No concept of bow thrusters. Ah, we do. Here we go. Stern thruster. All right, so they don't stay. All right, so some of the more modern ones, they support thrusters. Um, ah, we can go between the different vessels in the scene. So that's an F8. Oh, wow. Here we've got a track. Pretty cool stuff in here. It could even be used, you know, for training purposes. Let's pause. Just trying to remember all the controls here. I'm not too sure what these views are for. We are going backwards. I'd like to get rid of that view anyway. Um, can go external. Uh, let's just check out these waves again. So I'm going to do the wind down to like a almost a cam. 
We'll, displacement wave is on. We'll give her full power again. And let's just watch this displacement wave build up. That's a good simulation. So it should get longer as the ship speeds up until it's creating one big displacement wave. So we're almost there. It's two wavelengths there. Third one's behind. 21 knots. And she's approaching maximum displacement speed pretty much there. That wave probably reality to move a little bit further back, but that's a pretty good simulation that you've got this stuff going on here. All this naval architecture stuff, uh, which I haven't until cool. Let's see what else we've got in here. So that is weather. Um, we want some sunny. Nobody wants the perfect weather. Uh, let's try and change. So with the um, Smith sailboat, I downloaded. Ah, uh, this ship doesn't seem to work at all. Uh, gypsy moth. Oh, lovely! Right, it's polygon heavy. I can tell already. So this is this beautiful, it's famous sailing boat. Um, can't remember what's famous for sailing around the world at some point. Um, auto sail is on. We need some wind. It's a nice 15 knot breeze. It's good for sailing. Ah. Or maybe not. So let's just bring her in again. Okay, let's change that wind. Let's uh, sell this because it's a beautiful ship model. Right, so she's auto sailing. Uh, maybe because I just put in too much wind. And it feels like something wrong with the model on this. All right, let's just uh, move on. Queen Elizabeth, this is, again, somebody's made a simplified model. Uh, let's just get this one going. See how she, <laughs> I think there was a little car or a motorbike starting sound there that made me laugh. It's maybe using some of the generic um, ship. So we're moving three knots. That's probably not quite the acceleration that she'd have. And I'll be very surprised if that displacement wave works on this size of vessel. Quite a lot of calculations going on to make that to work. Where are we up in the... Ah, we're just inside the model here. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, I don't really expect these um, very large vessels to work, um, but let's just give it a bit of test. Let's just give it some waves. So you can see there that this amazing dynamic wave model is still working even with all and this very large scale model here. Uh, that's our lighting panel and I wanted J I thought it was, no, it's K, L, no, O, there we go, O. Um, so there's swelling which we can increase. Um, Maximum waves, it increases the waves basically at the full draw distance. Displacement, here we go. This is going to make it heavy. Wind driven. Pretty impressive what um, the engine can do, what the, the waves engine can do. And I think there's a lot more to it. I haven't really had time to look at it. Um, I'm not going to make the video too long. But basically, yeah, very nice hydrodynamic model. That's what it was always famous for, Virtual Sailor. The ability to get ships from mods. Uh, so there's a whole bunch of ships on the library on, online just now. The ability to dock um, um, instruments here, conning display, that's pretty nice. So these are all new um, weapons if you want, if you're that way inclined. Um, the ability to flip between <laughs> here we go 
so you can actually um, let's take away the Queen Elizabeth you can do some sort of scenery stuff like this all right where are we um, let's just add Ranger and then we want okay and then we want this to tow me so there's some scenarios you can set up here like this so these are attached uh, was it C? No. Uh, let's try and get into this one And then see if we can tow. Let's get rid of some of this waifs here. That's a bit better. Start the engine. And oh, that's the other way around. Let's see how this works with the tow line going to the front. Boink. So you do have physics. I think the original game had physics like this in it that allowed towing. Uh, I don't think there's multiplayer, as far as I can tell now, but you could create these scenarios like this where you could you know, tow yourself, get yourself out of trouble. Obviously, there's funny stuff going on here with that wave displacement stuff. Uh, let's just do like that, probably a bit, bit more easy on the engine. And you can see this nice little lapping waves coming up here. So this it's a very interesting prospect for people who like maritime simulation. As I said, it's got a 20 year legacy at least. Um, Multi-vehicle capabilities, all sorts of stuff which are really possible here. Um, and you know, very good physics um, is, is in terms of the hydrodynamics and the waves. Uh, some things to be desired in terms of the user interface, you know, again, that's also what I, I would probably do last if I was a developer of um, this kind of application. Um, and yeah, I think there's a whole bunch of potential here. It's fairly expensive, like 38 euros, I think it's quite a high price. Um, I think you'd probably sell a lot more of it for 25 or 20 even. Um, I know there's been a lot of work. It's a labor of, of love, you know, Yenny, for the for the for you developing it. But if you like boat simulation, there's a lot of potential with this. If you if you can just see how beautiful this is uh, right now, I'm just going to try and get that um, displacement waves to show up again. Look at that. There are not many sims that allow you to do that. Although you do see things like this in GTA kind of simulated. But it's pretty clever what's going on there generally. Um, Right, I'm going to call it a day there. There's a lot to this, but that's giving you my initial impressions of this, you know, after looking at all the other types of marine simulation you can do. Uh, that's all for now, and I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you like this kind of stuff, you know, I recommend buying it, give it a try, and uh, support Yanni with his uh, lifelong labor of love in uh, Virtual Sailor here. That's all for now. Cheers. Bye.